Here's our unit ratio technique lesson with area examples. So for this example, we have the cross-sectional area of a circular duct, and we're told that it's given by the formula area is equal to pi times 6.5 squared, and our units are measured in inches, so we have inches squared. So this is the classic area of a circle, area is pi r squared, where our 6.5 is our radius. But we want our area in square centimeters. So let's start our technique. We're going to start with our given formula measurement in units, so we do have a formula again here. So pi times the radius squared, inches squared. Normal methodology, look up tables of equivalences to find, see if we can go from our given units to our desired units. And on our, and on our tables in our area section, we should be able to find that one square inch is 6.4516 centimeters squared. We'll now multiply by our unit ratio for that equivalence so that the inch squared go away and we're left with centimeters squared. As such, we have to have the unit ratio with the 2.54 centimeters squared in the numerator and the 1 inch squared in the denominator. When we have it like this, we can see how the units cancel out. So my inches squared and inches squared cancel, and I'm left with the centimeters squared. I can gather my numbers and do the calculations. So the pi times the 6.5 squared times the 2.54, all divided by 1 centimeters squared. So my overall answer to one decimal place comes to 856.3 square centimeters. Next example, we have a developer who's purchased a rectangular plot of land. We know that the land measures 250 feet by 372 feet. So we recognize imperial units. We want to calculate the area of the land, but we want them in hectares, abbreviated HA, and remember this is a metric unit. So this is an example where we have to calculate an area and also change from one unit to another. So we're going to start with our given formula measurement in units. Now we haven't per se been given a formula, but we should know that the area of a rectangle is just the length times width. So we have area is 250 times 372, and that will be feet times feet, or feet squared. We'll now have to look up to see if there's an equivalence between feet squared and hectares. And when we look up our tables, we can see that there's a unit called an acre, so AC for acre, and one acre is defined as 43560 square feet, and also one acre is 0 0.405 hectares. So this is imperial and imperial, and this is imperial and metric, which is what we want to do. Let's now multiply by unit ratios and recognize we're going to need both of these um, so that our desired units are left in the numerator. So we first have to get rid of our feet squared, so we're going to use this top equivalence. Here's the unit ratio, the acres in the numerator, the feet squared in the denominator. Next unit ratio from our equivalence, one acre is 0 0.405 hectares. Acres have to be in the denominator because they're in the numerator here and we want them to cancel out to leave us just hectares. We'll see how our units are cancelling. So the feet squareds go away, the acres go away, and we're left with just hectares. Now we can gather all our numbers and do our calculation. So there's our 250 times 372, there's the 1, the decimal 405 from the numerator, and the 43560 in the denominator. And our final answer to three decimal places is 0.865 hectares. Here's another area example. We've got the surface area of a rectangular tabletop is 2.45 square meters, so a metric unit meters. We want to convert this to square centimeters, so another metric, metric unit. So we're going from metric to metric. Standard method, let's start with our given information. So we have the area is 2.54 meters. Let's look up equivalences to convert our given units to the desired units of square centimeters. Now this is one where we're just going to be looking at the metrics prefixes. And let's bring that table up just for a minute. And notice how I have two equivalences here. Because one of the things about the metric prefixes is that they're just for base units here. If we want to do area and volume in metric, we have to start with the base unit and then either square for area or cube for volume. So what I can get from the metric prefix table is that there's 10 times 10 or 100 centimeters in one meter. But I don't have length, I have area. 
So I need to change this length to an area. So this, this line here, I've done a calculation. I have not read this from the metric prefix tables. So I had to square the 100, square the centimeters, square the 1, and square the meters. And since 1 squared is 1, we just write it as 1. And this is the equivalence that I'll use and put it in, in a unit ratio. So let's take our ratio, put it the right way. We have meters squared. We want to get rid of them. So on our unit ratio, we put them in the denominator. And our centimeter squared is in the numerator. We can see again how the units cancel out. So our meter squareds are gone. And we're left with centimeter squareds. We can gather our numbers into a calculation. So 2.54 times 100 squared. And I've chosen to put this answer in scientific notation, 2.54 to three significant digits times 10 to the fourth. So here's a you know, scientific notation, remember, a number between 1 and 10, and a power, integer power of 10.